Good morning, everybody. Dar Sizzle and Pudding coming at you from the deep blue ocean. And we are out of Stewart, Florida today. It's actually the 4th of July today as we speak. So we hope you had a happy and safe holiday. Uh, when you see this, it'll be long gone. But we are out here loading up on bait using a sabiki. And you can show them what a sabiki looks like, but it's literally just a hook. I'll put a, I'll like put people a beer, were asking I'll what put it looked like. Picture up there. It's just a hook with like a piece of it's skin on it. It's a long string it. of hooks. Yeah, with like a piece of like glitter on it so the fish eat it. Yeah. And uh, that's how we catch all the bait in the summertime. Lots of people here at the bait spot getting bait. And we're about to wrap it up and head on to our adventure offshore. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see what happens offshore today. It's super calm and uh, American Red Snapper season starts next week, so we're gonna try and do a little pre-fishing for that and see yeah. what happens. Mark is some bait right here and then we'll get out of here. All right. Thanks. Glad you're coming along, let's go. All right, doing my due diligence. Just told Brian I want to pick up some trash, some balloons. Once again, you know, see the mylar here ends up offshore in our oceans. Really bad for our turtles. They eat them and they die. They think they're jellyfish. But so no fish in the boat yet, but we got trash. So we're cleaning up our oceans and just being good people out here. And hopefully the fish gods reward us. Now let's head over to our first fishing spot of the day. Hooked up? Yes. Nice. All right. All right, it's hooked up at the first spot. Doesn't seem very big, but we're going to see. He's using a chicken rig today. Yes. Two different systems. Starts using a regular bottom rig, and I'm using a chicken rig. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. Probably my line on yours. No. <laughs> Eat him. I got a little grouper. Look at that. I told you. Nice get him work. back. Little baby. Yeah, little baby. Hooked up. That's a little bit better one. Nice. Come on. Mine's a red. Nice. Same size. Yeah. Nice. Mine is still getting tapped. Ooh, that was a better hit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on. All right, these are like 17s. There he is. Nice. Hooked up. What is he? 17. Nice. Yeah, we'll double check it, but. This guy's a little bouncy. He might be a snapper. All right. All right, guys, I want to get him over as fast as I could. Good job. He swam down for 160 feet. Of course, you know, these, guys, these days you gotta have your uh, descending device. But he wasn't blown up, so I knew I figured he would go down, and he did. Yeah. So we got Darcy using 80 pound braid now, and that really thick rod she'd been using. Yep. Get him. Nice one. That's a keeper. All nice. right. Nice. Let's see how big he is. All right, that's a keeper. He might be. But we're not allowed to keep them yet because it's not season. We <laughs> only have a three day season over here on the Atlantic side for the red snapper. So Brian's just checking, taking a look here. Oh, how much think I'd be 20? I think so, I'm not sure. He is 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Let's look. Well, let's get him back in the water first and then look. Nice job, Bro Sizzle. So the pre is working pretty well. These are catching reds. There he is. So pretty. Beautiful. Bye, buddy. Perfect. Beauty. Hooked up? I think so. A little red? No, a little group. Is that black? Yeah, sea bass. Nice. I got a little black sea bass. I got your rhythm. Another species. <laughs> Got it? Yes, I think. <laughs> Control that baby fish. This is a monster. Sea bass hole. Sea bass, sea bass, sea bass. Yeah. A little sea bass. You know, doing some exploring, I guess we found a sea bass hole, which isn't terrible. They need to be a little bigger, but 
when the season's right and they're bigger, it'll be a great spot, you know? Exactly. It's all about knowledge. It's all about the knowledge. Up. I nice. hooked up. All right. Come on. Sorry, I'm yelling at the fish. There we catch go. Catch him, Sizzle. Catch him. We're both doubled up. Doubled up in the house. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Get him up. Get him up. I haven't seen any sharks today. Sit down. <laughs> I tell him not to say these things <laughs> when we're fishing, especially when we're doubled up. Ready, Red. Red. All right. Nice red. I'm gonna grab your rod, you're gonna grab the fish. Looks like a red, is that a red? Or a mutton? I got the rod, you got the fish. It's a red. Nice. Cool. Very pretty. Found the very pretty American Red Steppers. Awesome. Unfortunately, we can't keep them, even though they both look like keepers. Not seasoned. But guys, this is how you fish when season starts, you pre-fish. Look at this, is like a bass guy. This is great, it's doing great. That's true. Totally killing it. All right, guys, beautiful fish. Let's let them go. They look like twinsies. They go get to swim back down to the bottom together. Bye. They gone. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> they can both get to us, uh, you know, take, protect each other on the way down in case the sharks are bad there. <laughs> Dude, the fish are freezing. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing to consider. You know, when you release a fish, you know, try not to do it around those sharks because, you know, they, when you release a fish, the fish isn't that. You know, he's tired. And, you know, especially if you use a defending device. I know you're supposed to use these days like the sequelizer, but a shark can rip those fish right off too. So, you know, it's, you know, fraught with peril. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got a fish. Nice. He just jumped on. Nice. Poor grouper. Oh my oh. God, it's a stonefish. Are those goody? I don't know. A stonefish, that's not No, it's not a, like those are the poisonous ones. All right, check out this crazy looking fish Brian just pulled up on that chicken rig. Look how wild he looks. Just the craziest, coolest looking fish ever. And he's got these dots on the backside of his fins there. So it looks like to predators, they come back like to the backside of him and try to eat him. But he literally looks like a rock down there. Also known as a stonefish. And this fish right here is one of the world's most venomous Right, venomous, not poison, poisonous? Venomous. Yeah, it's venomous because it comes from his spines. Yes. So the dorsal, the dorsal fin on this guy, those spines there, can inject venom into a human body and it can kill you within about an hour window if it gets you good enough. So I decided, well, we decided, since this guy's on board and we just looked up the rules and regulations, you're allowed to keep them. Why not do a catch, clean, cook with the world's most venomous fish right here? Look at those crazy sharp spines though. They're, they're like, with, with surgical procedure, precision, they're just like razor sharp. Like those are just meant to kill. Pretty wild, pretty crazy looking fish. And we've caught them in the past as well, just never ate one. So now's the time to eat one. So let's go ahead and put them in the cooler and catch some more fish. All right, so for safety reasons, like I said, I was just gonna put him in the cooler, decided to go ahead and cut his spines off. And we have done lionfish catch clean cook, which is very uh, venomous as well. And we've cut their spines as well. So we're gonna do the same with the stonefish. Again, just to be on the safe side, because you never know. Hold on. Ow, I just got spines. Jeez, jerk <laughs> off. Hey, yeah, he talks to me. Had to get some better scissors, but these are not better, so not having good luck. All Ugh. right. All right, so we'll be back in an hour after I cut off all these spines. <laughs> Come up. Come on up. <laughs> there you go. We gotta get down anyway. We do have to get down, that's true. <laughs> you can wait until I get really down too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was your name? Jade. Jade, nice to meet you. That's nice awesome. Super fan right here, just hooked up Jay with a couple stickers and they all watch my videos, which is freaking awesome. Always love to meet my fans, so it's so nice to meet you. And shout out to Jay. So if you guys ever see us out in the water, stop by and say hello, get a couple quick pictures, talk to me, get some maybe some free stickers, you never know. All right, <laughs> we'll meet you guys back at the house with the catch and cook. 
What's up guys? We are back at the house after fishing. We've got the boat unloaded and before playing that fish, I wanted to go ahead and work, get a quick workout in on my Echelon EX5S Connect bike, which is awesome. Been loving this machine for a couple of months now. As you guys know, sponsored by Echelon Fitness. Thousands of live and on-demand classes to pick from on here. Really love it. Don't forget about my promo code, Darcizzle15, to receive 15% off any other equipment as well as their apparel. Running out of breath right here. But let's finish up this class and hop right outside and fillet this beautiful poison, well, venomous scorpion fish. Oh, all right. Looks like I got some Amazon packages here. Got my cooler outside already. Let me get this venomous fish out. So I've done a little bit of research too as we've been home on this fish here. And we've caught, I've caught them in the past. I know I caught one last year for sure. But I think I said it was a rockfish, but after doing a little bit of research, I think that this is a member, this is a scorpion fish, member of the scorpion fish family. And there's a few of them out there, but a rockfish is not native to Florida. It doesn't seem like they're more found in like Australian waters and stuff. But if any of you, if any of you guys have any information on this fish, go ahead and drop it down below because of course we're all here to learn together. Um, but our, obviously their patterns change based on the bottom structure that they're on and stuff. So I've seen a lot of pictures online, but I have a good feeling that this is a spotted scorpion fish, like I said. So it looks like we've missed a couple of those dorsal fins right back there after we cut them. So I'm just gonna be a little careful, but of course, very curious to taste this deadly venomous fish. If you're not careful, you know, you get stung by one of them, you know, that's a serious, uh, you want to get that treated right away because, again, they're very, very venomous with those top dorsal spines. So we're just going to take our time here using my 7-inch blade today. Work it down. He's ice frozen, super frozen, which is always good. It's like a fish lollipop. But I'm really curious to see how delicious these guys are. I've had le uh, um, lionfish in the past, which lionfish, as you know, is a venomous fish as well, not native to our waters, and they are everywhere. So let's see how this fillet looks like once I get it off. Don't not want to get poked. <laughs> Just taking my time here. But it looks delicious. Venomous fish are usually delicious, like the lionfish was quite tasty. All right, yeah, he is frozen solid. And it's a really cool fish, just super interesting. Like, look at this, how pretty those fins still look. All the dots on the back. Fish are just so cool, so cool to look at. I know I'm a nerd, but. All right, let's get this off here. Look at that meat. That's not bad at all. Almost there, just trying to not get poked. <laughs> I think it's just the dorsal fins, but you just want to be careful, no matter what. This is long peck fins in the way. All right, let's slab that off. Turn them towards you. I don't think they get much bigger than this either. They kind of just sit on the bottom, waiting for stuff to come by them with their wide, wide mouth. It almost looks like it's a grouper mouth. The mouth on the fish is just enormous compared to the size of his body. But there's that filet. Does not look bad at all. Looks quite tasty. Almost reminds me of a black belly rose fish, the ones that we catch in the deep sea, which don't get much bigger than this as well but super white meat. Let's just skin it here real quick. Just like any other fish. No big deal. That is gonna be delicious. We're gonna have a nice little taste test here. So next time that you guys catch one of these fish, maybe you can cook them too. All right, get those little pin bones out. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna finish up the other side of this small fish and then we're gonna go inside for the venomous, the deadly venomous spotted scorpion fish taste test. What's up guys and thanks to our sizzle for filleting that very dangerous venomous fish. I'm not even sure what to call it. Maybe you guys can give us a little help with that. The rockfish, stonefish, it's part of the scorpion fish family. Maybe it's a scorpion, spotted scorpion. Uh, we're doing just a basic taste test, venomous fish edition. Let's get our sizzle in here for the taste test. I just cooked them. What's up, sizzle? What's up? <laughs> you know, when we have the first time we try a fish, no, I don't like to get all crazy with it. I just put uh, butter and salt and pepper on it, which you can really cook any fish that way, really, and it's gonna be fine. Now, it's, you saw the filet, it's white. Oh, it's super good. Is it super good? I think it's similar to a ripper. Oh. Very good. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a crappy. It's very good. It's a little tiny bit chewy. 
A little, I guess. But it's still got, I mean, the, the flavor is great. Yeah, it's fine. It's very white. Very good. I'll show you when you cook it. Can you see that? Get the focus good. I don't know. But, uh, great. Always cool trying different stuff, especially venomous fish, so you guys ever come across them. Just always take precautions, but you know, occasionally you even catch a lionfish on a hook and line, so yeah. always keep them, don't release them back in the waters. Yeah, with those lionfish, you, know, you can Google it, and we have a great video from ages ago. You, you, just, you get a lionfish, you cut the spines off, all the bad spines, and then it's perfectly fine and delicious. Just like we did with this fish. Same thing. Simple, very yeah. easy. We need to do another live fish video. It's been way too long. We need to scissors first. That video's ancient that he's talking about. But <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't caught one. No. We usually spear fish for them. But right. anyway. today was an epic day on the water. Really cool exploring new spots and getting ready for ARS, aka red snapper season, right around the corner. So it was an epic day in our book, and we got to try something a little different and new. Yeah, we accomplished our something goals. Something deadly. So. Yeah, looking forward to ARS season. American Red Snapper, we're going to be catching them on our boat to get ready for that video. Hopefully right around the corner. Hopefully they didn't just jinx it either. <laughs> <laughs> if we, we don't should... see it, we didn't catch any. Yeah, <laughs> we do have three days to catch them here, but we'll see. We only got one day right now, so we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed. Drop us a like, subscribe, and until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Want to get a kiss? I got the big eyes again. <laughs> that was a weird kiss. You're a weirdo. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was weird. Too much. Too much for these people. <laughs>